The brain is a complex organ and there are thousands of chemical reactions happening every second which are linked to numerous different functions. And in this video, we will talk about the happy chemicals in the brain which are linked to love, pain, reward and happiness. These chemicals have a profound impact on our daily life and our relationships. So if this triggers an interest in you, stick around till the end of the video. Happy chemicals of brain coming up. This video is brought to you by Good Health Corner. At Good Health Corner, we bring research health information in a simplified manner that is easy to understand. If you like what you see here, we request you to support us by clicking the like, subscribe and the bell button. This will ensure that you get notified every time we release a video. Disclaimer The health statements made in this video and the site are not intended to diagnose, treat or cure or prevent any disease. They are solely for informational purposes. Always consult your doctor before implementing any treatment protocol. Let's first understand what are neurotransmitters. These happy chemicals of the brain are called neurotransmitters or the behaviors one. And as the name suggests, these transmit neuronal messages that are important for different functions. Neurotransmitters have a profound impact on mental health. For example, these neurotransmitters are responsible for the feeling of achievement, reward, addiction, pleasure, pain, love, happiness, depression and hundreds of other things that affect us daily. The neurons communicate with each other through transmitting signals. The neurons are not physically connected to the other neurons but there is a small gap between two neurons and it's called a synapse. So the message from one neuron to the other needs to cross this gap and reach the adjoining neuron and this work is done by the neurotransmitters. The neurons transmit the signals through the neurotransmitters by releasing them in small sacs of vesicles which cross the gap of the synapse and attaches itself to the receptor of the receiving neuron or cell. And we will discuss four such happy chemicals of the brain, dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin and endorphins. So let's get cracking. Dopamine Dopamine is a massively important neurotransmitter and is associated with the reward system of the brain. It is also involved in voluntary movement and plays a role in memory and attention. Dopamine is associated with pleasure and reward. For example, activities like sex, shopping, comfort food etc. are all good examples of dopamine at play. It's a neurotransmitter that motivates you to act to derive pleasure or reward and reinforces this so that the same activity is repeated in the future. Dopamine is also responsible for motor control and impairment of this channel leads to conditions that involve impaired movements and coordination. In such cases, conditions including tremors, shakes, slowed down movements such as Parkinson's disease are seen. Dopamine is also responsible for blood flow, sleep, digestion, heart and kidney functions, memory and attention, mood, emotions, insulin regulation, just to name a few. A healthy level of dopamine makes an individual happy, alert, motivated and with good attention and focus. Whereas overflooding of dopamine can lead to hallucinations and allied psychiatric conditions like delusions and mania. Similarly, low levels of dopamine can lead to clumsy movements, difficulty concentrating and low alertness. And low levels of dopamine will lead to reduced motivation, enthusiasm and depression. And generally this is not a happy state to be in. Some illegal drugs cause flooding of dopamine which leads to a transient feeling of euphoria but when this effect wears off, the individual is left feeling terrible, exhausted and depressed. And this is what happens in drug addictions. To chase the feeling of euphoria, the addicts keep on taking these drugs which releases dopamine and gives a feeling of pleasure. The gut plays an important role in the production of dopamine and keeping a healthy gut, avoiding junk food, eating foods that are good for gut health, exercising, reducing stress and sleeping helps in boosting dopamine. Serotonin Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that is produced mostly in the gut and is a chemical that plays a crucial role in mood stability. From mental health perspective, serotonin helps in reducing anxiety and bringing a sense of calm. It is a happy chemical and is responsible for the feeling of happiness, regulates anxiety and reduces depression. It influences sleep and controls sleep-wake cycles. An imbalance of serotonin can result in a clumsy mood and sleeplessness. And serotonin deficiency can cause anxiety and insomnia. Serotonin's other important function is gut motility. It helps in eliminating waste from the body. It is also responsible for hunger modulation. 
Other roles of serotonin include helping in concentration and cognition, regulating hormones, regulating body temperature, bone health and blood clotting. Though being such an important neurotransmitter and having such profound effects on mental health, 90% of serotonin in the body is actually produced in the gut. So the gut microbiome here plays a crucial role in the production of serotonin. Short-chain fatty acids like butyrate and acetate which are produced in the gut helps in the production of serotonin. Also, tryptophan, an amino acid, is converted to serotonin in the gut by the microbiome. We can boost the production of serotonin by eating a gut-healthy diet like including a lot of fibers, avoiding junk foods and avoiding foods that are known to cause inflammation. Foods which are rich in prebiotic fibers like chicory roots, garlic, onions, oats, flax seeds, etc. help to feed the good bacteria in the gut and keep the gut healthy. Including foods that are high in tryptophan like cheese, eggs, beef, oats, etc. can help in the conversion to serotonin by the gut microbiome. Oxytocin In reality, oxytocin is a hormone, but it functions like a neurotransmitter. It is also called the cuddle hormone or the love hormone as it is released when people bond socially or snuggle up. It can positively affect relationships enhancing trust, fidelity, positive communication, empathy, positive memories and bonding. Dopamine, serotonin and oxytocin are somehow connected to being the happy chemicals of the brain. And the pleasure of attraction includes a combination of dopamine, serotonin and oxytocin production leading to powerful positive emotions. In women, oxytocin has specific importance. It has its role in the birth process and in nursing. First, this hormone helps in uterine contractions and delivery. Similarly, when the infant suckles on mother's breast, it releases oxytocin, which then orders the body to let down milk for the baby. An interesting study shows a correlation between the higher levels of oxytocin in the first trimester to more increased bonding behavior of the mother with the baby. Similarly, in men, it was seen that a boost of oxytocin via nasal spray led to men playing more closely with their babies than dads who didn't receive the spray. And in a study with children on high-functioning autism spectrum disorder, it was seen that oxytocin activated the areas of the brain associated with social interaction. Research suggests oxytocin can positively impact social behavior including pair bonding, sexual behavior, social memory and at the same time decreasing stress and social anxiety. Endorphins The last and the fourth one on the list is endorphins. These are a type of neurochemicals or neurotransmitters which have a role to play in relieving stress and pain. Endorphins are released when you work out and are responsible for the feeling of satisfaction or a high which you get after such a workout. And endorphins work especially on the opiate receptors of the brain. By acting on the opiate receptors, it relieves pain and gives a feeling of satisfaction. Endorphins are also involved in activities that are linked to pleasure and satisfaction, such as eating, exercising and sexual intercourse. They help to reduce pain and maximize pleasurable feelings. And this chemical has a variety of benefits from alleviating depression, stress and anxiety reduction to boost of self-esteem, weight loss and helping in pain during childbirth. And if you want to boost endorphins, the easiest way is to exercise. Well, eating chocolate, chili peppers and drinking wine are other ways of increasing the production of endorphins. Having regular sex and getting a massage also helps in boosting this. And lastly, laughing and meditating helps in the production of endorphins, releases anxiety and relieves tension. In conclusion, these happy chemicals or hormones or neurotransmitters of the brain have such a huge impact on our daily lives affecting how we handle ourselves and our relationships. But these are double-edged swords and higher production of these does not necessarily mean it is better. The best is to have a fine balance. And this leads us to the gut and how important the gut is in the production of these chemicals. A compromised gut can lead to compromised production of these chemicals which is not good for mental health. It can lead to depression, clumsiness and a decrease in motivation. As you have seen, exercise has a profound effect on the production of all these neurochemicals. So, taking some time to exercise can help to keep the body and mind balanced. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more such videos, we recommend you to subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to this. A little bit of encouragement from you will go a long way for us. Thank you and we hope to see you again. Bye for now.